morning. morning from San Cristobal. We have started our day back at the same bakery that we were at yesterday, but this time we're going to take it a bit more leisurely. We are sitting down for our coffee for a change, and we've actually bought this amazing bag of goodies. What this bakery does is for anything that they didn't sell yesterday, they put it into a bag and they sell the bags for a dollar each. So that's what we're going with. The plan for today is to head to Playa Loberia, which translates to Sea Lion Beach. So hopefully we'll get to see some sea lions. It's about a 45 minute walk from here. So as soon as we're done eating, that's where we're going to head. ourselves some snorkels and masks for five dollars us per person for the whole day before we left town to come here because i think it's about a 45 minute walk but we have now arrived to playa loberia and we're going to hop in the water and hopefully get to snorkel with some sea lions Thank you. 
romantic picture I had in my mind. No fault to the seals, but our snorkel equipment is broken. So I can't even breathe out of my snorkel underwater. I take maybe two breaths and then water rushes in. And I don't know, what was wrong with yours? My mask wouldn't tighten properly. So therefore the mask would fill up with water and I wouldn't be able to breathe through my mouth properly because it wouldn't stop my nose and it sucked in. And it basically just meant that it was an all round pretty terrible experience and we couldn't see a lot. So unfortunately, because of that, we weren't really able to get the underwater footage that we really, really wanted to. But despite that, there are so many sea lions here. They are all amazing. And to be honest with you, you don't really even have to get into the water to enjoy your experience with them. You can still see them just great from out here. Yeah, a lot of them are close to the shore at the moment. So that's why we've been able to get some good video with just the normal vlogging camera as opposed to having to use the GoPro. Absolutely. Basically, the long story short is whether you have good snorkeling equipment or terrible snorkeling equipment, you should still come here if you want to enjoy the true privilege that is seeing sea lions in their natural habitat. And the great thing is other than the snorkeling equipment, this is free, so no big deal. What's not to love? We've just finished lunch at Los Guayacos and I think that may be the best meal we've had here on the Galapagos, which is saying a lot because every single meal we've had here has been really good. Absolutely. And to be honest, it's been one of the cheaper places that we've visited along this entire street, which just goes to show Actually, going cheaper might even get you a slightly better experience here if you look out for it. If you want to visit that restaurant, it's called Los Guayacos and it is rated currently a 4.8 on Google, so it's 100% worth a go. And we didn't go there because it was rated that on Google, we just happened to stumble across it and then check it out afterwards because we were like, this is really, really good. Now we are going to head back to our room for a little bit just to wash ourselves off a little bit and get prepared to potentially head out again. When we came home from seeing the sea lions, then I felt exhausted and took a nap. And I said that I wasn't really up for doing anything, so... We're doing something anyway? Yeah! Galapagos just doesn't feel complete without doing this one last thing. But I love you really. I love you too. Thanks for agreeing to do this final thing with me here on San Cristobal. We've just stopped at Playa Man on our way to the lookout. And I feel like this should be Playa Loberia because there are way more sea lions here than the beach we went to this morning. Look at them all. There must be over 50 of them here on this beach. Cerro Tijeretas. We were told that this is one of the best viewpoints on the island of San Cristobal and just take a look. We are not disappointed. The view up here is absolutely incredible. You can see the whole of Puerto Bacarizo Moreno and the port below. You can see out to Kicker Rock. It's absolutely beautiful. 
So was it worth getting out of bed? Yeah. Had I had the gift of foresight, then I wouldn't have been complaining the entire way here. But with these views, with the sun going down, and a bunch of sea lions just on the deck over there as well, it doesn't really get much better than this. And it was free. Yes, it was, which makes it even better. And with heavy hearts, we've just realized that that's the last thing we're going to be doing of note in the Galapagos. How do you feel? I can't believe that our time has already come to an end. These 10 days have absolutely flown by, but this country has endeared itself in my heart. It's probably one of my favorites that I've visited in the world. I am already planning how we can come back here. I can only really echo those sentiments. I have been dreaming of coming to this place ever since I heard of it as a kid. And I just never even thought it would be possible that I would be here. This is a genuine dream come true. It's everything that I hoped it would be and more. And yeah, this is going to leave a very indelible mark on my brain and my heart forever. Anyone who's an animal or nature lover would absolutely adore this place. It's just so easy to see the wildlife here. And if you decide to stay here on the islands instead of take a cruise, just know it is so affordable. This entire set of islands is like Disneyland for nature lovers. It's absolutely insane. It's like no other place that you'll ever go to. And that is why you just have to come here. As simple as that. So we are sadly leaving tomorrow, but we're so happy we got to share this with you. Absolutely. We hope you really enjoyed this series and that you continue to follow along as we go through the rest of Latin America. But until next time though, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>